Backgrid CEO blasts Meg of using their fake paps with Doria stage picks for overshadowing George's birthday. Recently, Meghan Markle's mother has been spotted checking out an art exhibit in Beverly Hills, as rumors continue to swirl around her daughter and Prince Harry's relationship right on Prince George's birthday. Of course, royal fans booed the mother-daughter duo trying to eclipse the birthday of Prince George, the eldest son of Prince William and Princess Catherine. Well, it is His Royal Highness's Prince George's birthday. She had to try. So hell, let's just Doria earn her keep back grid to the pop walk. Who cares what she was spotted? What she did with her daughter to poor Thomas Markle Sr. is disgusting and karma will bite them both on the ass for this. For someone who allegedly has no class and no talent, she sure gets a hell of a lot of attention. The CEO of Backgrid, Steven Ginsburg, raised his voice after seeing the news. That's not my staff, so Meghan Markle is paying for Doris's PR now too. When she used our fake paps again, how dare she? Why in the world is her attendance at this event being covered? Meghan Markle, explain your action now. If you don't, I have to do something with my lawyer. Not long ago, he has also made a statement in which he accused Meghan Markle of utilizing their services without making the agreed-upon payments. Backgrid is a reverse paparazzi service. Gone are almost all of the pops who stalk people, take their photo and profit from their intrusion. These days, many celebrities call Backgrid to arrange when and where the photos will be taken. Backgrid gives them photos to celebrities to select the photos, Photoshop and filter them. Lastly, Backgrid sells the images, splitting the profits with the celebrity. Doria Ragland took to the Honor Tennis art show with a friend before they headed for dinner at Il Fornario restaurant in the area. She dressed for comfort in a blazing sunshine, wearing an airy red dress. The all-in-one sleeveless look perfect for the heated summer Los Angeles was experiencing. She paired the outfit with if comfy looking pair of tan toneless sandals with a chunky white base. Her over-the-shoulder bag draped over her as she completed the look with an elegant slim necklace, which dangled on top of her attire. Doria had her hair tied back and she had a stylish half-rimmed glasses on as she took in the sights. Her pal went in for a light ensemble with white trousers and jacket, paired with light blue shirt. She chose black loafers for her footwear and tied her gray locks back in a ponytail. The exhibit, titled Advantage Inn, showcases the artist's love of tennis, something Megan, 41, has been shown a keen interest in the past, with several sightings at the prestigious Wimbledon event. Doria's sighting comes as speculation over Prince Harry and Meghan's relationship continues to grow. The duo recently suffered a business blow with their Spotify acts and an apparent lack of suggestions to fulfill their Netflix deal. However, despite the split rumors circulating, it's thought that these are wide of a mark. A friend recently called the gossip not true and literally made up. A body language expert also told the Mirror that although they might not be as tactile as they have been in public previously, some of the pair's rituals are still alive and well. Judy James said, Harry and Meghan have been a walking testimony to marital bliss, their face gazing looks of mutual adoration and their inability to not touch, hug, stroke or clasp hands with each other for longer than a few moments has always proved that however controversial their comments, their love was an ongoing success story. She continued, their two most current appearances together show them snapped on the hoof. The car photos do appear to suggest the hand-holding ritual is still alive and well. Although the hands themselves are hidden in their arm positioning, does suggest the gesture ends in a clasp. Her wild smile when she's with Harry looks like a statement. A social gesture to let fans know her life is still happy and perfect, although his expression is a bit more muted.